What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today I'm going to share with you guys how can you target your ideal audience? Because at the end of the day, the targeting is really important on Facebook. And if you're targeting the right audience, then it could to, um, you know, Lead, it could lead to amazing results. And if you're targeting the wrong audience and you have a good product and could lead to disastrous results, and we don't want that. So we want to make sure uh, that we target the right audience. So when it comes down to targeting, um, let's speak only when it comes to, you know, the age, the gender, the, tar the targeting, the countries. The first thing that you want to pay attention to is, you know, your location. So you want to advertise to good countries. I like to advertise to countries like the big five. So Canada, United States. Well, this is United Kingdom. It's part of the big five. United States. Great. New Zealand. And Australia. Okay, great. So um, let me remove this. Perfect. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now when you when you have decided where you want to target your audience, again, there's no wrong thing about the location. Let's say you're German and you you speak German. Your English is not too uh, fluid. Then you can target Germany. And and you know there's a lot of people in Germany that. Uh, that has a lot of money and people purchase online in Germany. You know, it's not because the big five are the countries that I select that you cannot sell in other countries. And there's actually drop shippers that do that. They, you know, they advertise the winning product from the big five to other countries. And you can do the same thing. Now, let's say you speak Spanish and you're, uh, your Spanish is better than your English. You can advertise in Spain. You can advertise in Mexico. You can advertise, you know, Puerto Rico. You can advertise in so many places. So keep in mind that the targeting of the country only depends what you want to do. For me, I like that it's English. I'm good. Uh, with, you know, I've been dropshipping in English for since, since I started. So I'm more comfortable that way. But there's no right or wrong. Now you have selected the country. Okay. So I've selected the big five. You can select other countries or just European countries if you want to. Now about the age. You know, this is the part where I think people overcomplicate it too much. Why? Because I like to keep it as broad as possible. I want I want to to let Facebook tell me what is the perfect age. Because you could probably guess, but you don't really know. And Facebook has millions, if not billions, worth of data points uh, to know your consumer. So it's better to let him uh, decide and not put too many, uh, let's say, um, uh, barriers into Facebook. Now the gender is the same thing. It's probably a female product. It's probably a male product. Unless it's 100% female, I like to let it open. Not even if it's 100% male, because sometimes, you know, a female will purchase for their men. So I like to leave it open. Unless it's 100% female. Now the targeting. This is every where every my body messed up. There's different type of schools. There's a school where people will, let's say, add no interest. They will say, oh, no interest is better. It's working amazingly well. Other people will say, no, like interest is better. Well, you know, the way that I see things is, and uh, that let's say, I hope you see it that way too, or I can convince you, is that when you have no interest, Unless you have a product that appeals to a mass audience, uh, like let's say a let's say a a bag appeals to a mass audience or something like this, I will not do. Or even certain bags depends because certain bags could be targeted to a specific audience. Um, but let's say if if you sell iPhones, it's to a mass market. So it's okay if you have no interest if you sell smartphones because a lot like everybody has a phone nowadays. But if you sell something specific, then you want interest to uh, help Facebook lead the way. Okay, it's like I'm letting you do what you want to do, 
But keep in mind that this is kind of my audience. So you give them a little bit of a direction and you don't just throw a needle and, and just hope for the best. The only moment, like I said, the only two moment actually when I will use no interest is, like I said, um, when I have a very general product that appeals to a massive audience that really doesn't need targeting. Or if, let's say, my product is getting smarter and smarter because I have, I don't know, like a thousand sales. And now Facebook knows my audience. So I will try to do no targeting to try to see where can it brings me. But I have data now. Now it's different. Like now my Facebook you know, my Facebook account, my Facebook pixel, everything is getting smarter. Like the data is coming faster, uh, stronger and have uh, thousands of words of a uh, piece of data every single day. So it's a little bit different. So other than that, I like to uh, choose interest. So now let's say an example that we sell something like this, a leather messenger bag. The first thing that you want to put in your mind is who would, who would buy this? The first thing that comes to my mind is other like photographers, students, you know, I think students would be um, a good targeting. The first thing they want to see is, okay, does my targeting make sense? Because a lot of people, they think there's secret targeting. No, there's no secret targeting. It, you just need to know if it makes sense or not. And that's it. You know, people like, you know, I see people testing like 500 different targeting. It's like, I'll find the perfect target. No, it's just that a product is not appealing. Find a targeting that is, you know, um, dedicated to your product and that, that matches it and that makes sense. And if it doesn't work, it's probably your product most of the time. So don't overthink it. So now we'll do uh, something like student. So you can do, let's say, student education. Perfect. You know, 59 million to 69 million. Now, like, what is the perfect audience? To be honest, for me, the bigger, the better. Uh, but at the same time, it's not because I have a 5 million. If I have a, if it makes sense, let's say I have an audience that is 5 million, but the targeting, I think it makes sense, then I will not do bigger, better. You know what I mean? I, I'm just using my brain to have the right size. The only size that I will not go to is if it's under 1 million. If it's under 1 million, why? It's because it's too little and it's going to be hard to scale those uh, those interest. So make sure that you have interest that have a few millions or at a minimum a million. So student education works great. You know, all people that have education that, you know, are interested in that, um, then, then that's perfect. Another one you can do is, let's say you come up with student student life that's that's great you think about student life you know things that speaks about student life uh student athletes um student of no it's not really student you know those kind of things like student of the year movie this is an entertaining movie you're not really targeting students maybe you're an older person and you like seeing like you know teenagers movie like things like that so um like you would target this as you think people will like people that will watch this movie will be students, but not actually. So that will not be a good uh, targeting, uh, you know, student doctor network. Don't be also too specific. I, I like to target any type of students and let Facebook choose which students um, don't go. Oh, you're a nurse students or things like that. Go quite broad. So let's say you can do student life. How big is student life? Um, as you can see, oh no, let's let's do. I think I choose student life. Okay, this one. So as you can see, this one is too specific. Like it's your audience is too specific. Like it's way too specific. So it will not work. So I will do student, and I will try another one. You know, student education, student in life. Those one are too little. It's too little. You know, they're they're great, but they're too little. So what I would do, let's do 
university. University higher. Perfect. 43 million. That's amazing. You can say college or higher. Student education, like we just did. In college. Let's look at in college. Like how big is it? 8 million to 10 million. That's great. So at the end of the day, you want to think, okay, I have a product that I'm selling to a bunch of students. And obviously I'm selling it to, to students that are, you know, have a lot of things and they, they have a lot of books to read. They have probably their laptop, everything. I'm not selling it to high school, like high school, like it's, too, too young, you know what I mean? I'm selling it to college. I'm selling it to university. And I think even university, it's even better because people take, e take it even more seriously than other places. So, um, yeah, uh, right here in college is perfect. You know, some college, no, because it's like, okay, you have a little bit of college, but you haven't finished it. So is it really good? No. So guys, as long as it makes sense, that's what you want. That's literally what you want. Now, the only reason why here I will not do uh, no interest because no interest is like 400 million and the size doesn't matter for me at all. But what matters is, okay, you're probably going to target a lot of people that are not going to school. So you need to lead Facebook in like at least the right direction. It's like, okay, at least go left and find your way. And give me, you know, things right there. But at least go left. So yeah, guys, um, this is how I find my, uh, my interest. Keep in mind, if you find like pretty general interest that works great with your product, don't overthink it. Don't don't overthink it. If it's not selling, it's probably not a good product. Simple as that. You don't want to overthink it. If it's not selling, it is not a good product. Um, I don't think like you know I, I've. When I started Facebook, I was like, oh, maybe this interest or that interest. And you start spending $100, $200 into a product. Um, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you spend as little as possible. You have everything set up. You test it with a good image, with a good offer, with a good video, whatever is it. Make sure everything looks professional. If it doesn't work, then there's nothing else you can do more about that. If you have any question, please let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help and make things simple easy to understand and don't overthink it and you guys will see incredible results guarantee because that's how we succeed me and my brother so wish you all an amazing rest of your day and peace out